A woman who pled no contest to having two men beat her boyfriend to death will spend seven years in prison. Michaela Tracy was convicted in the death of Dalton Ziegler. New at 10, Michelle Alfini shares his family's words of grief and how Tracy responded. Just over a year after his death. I will never get to hug him again. Dalton Ziegler's family still struggles to explain what it meant to lose the 24-year-old. I saw his ability to find the good and even the worst kind of people, and I thought that that was what made him so remarkable. Friday marked the final sentencing for the three suspects in his death, though his sister Samantha Ziegler says this may have been the hardest to endure. They didn't even know him. And if this wasn't for her, I would still have my big brother living a mile from me. Michaela Tracy is convicted of enlisting Jacob Johnson and Drew Luber to beat up her boyfriend Ziegler because she thought he was cheating on her. He died from the injuries. I do not go a day, let alone a few hours, without thinking of him. Tracy addressed the Ziegler family before hearing her sentence, telling them she loved him and his family, and she regrets her behavior leading up to his death. Since then, I've changed and grown more into the person I should have been that you should have known and that I should have been for him. Judge Susan Crawford ruled Tracy faced seven years of prison time, followed by five years of supervised release. Though the family says it's hard to say what she deserves. We deserve Dalton and we will never get that. We deserved to say goodbye and we will never get that. Tracy's sentence is similar to the other two suspects. One is facing six years and the other seven. The judge says the seemingly lenient sentences are due to their charges. It's felony murder as the court could not prove they intended Ziegler to die when they assaulted him.